everyone once again. Welcome to another meeting of the Forum Romanum. It's my pleasure tonight to introduce Professor Konstantin Tanev, who doesn't need any introductions since half the Forum already knows him. So he's a professor of Roman law at the Faculty of Law of the University of National and World Economics in Sofia. And tonight he will be talking about the case of Lucretia, symbolizing the political reality. Professor Tanev, the floor is yours and we're looking forward to hearing your lecture. Thank you so much. Uh, I'm really delighted to speak to Forum Romano for many reasons. And first of all, from, from, for friendship, I feel uh, about uh, all the people in this room, many of them are my uh, dear friends from um, a bunch of years, and uh, we have uh, so many things in common. And after this uh, long uh, break, because of the pandemic and the other obstacles, we haven't seen each other for that time, and it's uh, really a good occasion to, to say hello and to say we are still here. <laughs> uh, uh, so I'm, uh, it's a pleasure and honor to 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 present uh, my humble uh, work uh, to such an elevated auditorium. Uh, and knowing a lot of the important people and scientists who spoke before me on this chair. So I want to present you an interesting uh, and very well-known subject. Uh, it is about the case, famous case of Lucretia, which is uh, 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 a case uh, from the beginning of uh, the Roman uh, history, actually, uh, but uh, in fact has nothing uh, in common with the uh, it marks the end of the regnum and also uh, marks uh, how the people from the late Roman Republic thought about their uh, about their own history uh, using uh, the mythology and, uh, and metaphor uh, as a, a common source of their knowledge. Uh, but in fact, the question of uh, the real uh, elements of this uh, story still exists and still move the mind of the scholars. Actually, this story is a topos which is to be found in the tradition of uh, Indo-European culture uh, and uh, nations uh, which are uh, in this uh, realm, and uh, as well, it, it is uh, it is copied in the different part of the European culture, not only in the classical time, but also in the time of uh, uh, late antiquity, uh, times of uh, uh, medieval times, uh, even from uh, versions of it of are, are to be found in. Uh, to be found in uh, Zunara and uh, a lot of Renaissance uh, uh, artists, uh, painters uh, use uh, this subject. And again, in the modern time, uh, it is a, a common uh, discussion in the different uh, um, particles scientific uh, uh, world, especially when we talk about the position of female in, in, in the world and the status of women, uh, uh, which is, of course, more political question of modern time than the question of uh, historical reality. Uh, we, can, uh, we can start uh, with uh, a short uh, uh, a short story again, this is a case of uh, uh, a noble lady which belongs to the 
family of Darwin, the, the, actually a direct line from uh, Demarat uh, coming to, uh, to through his uh, second son Imperius, and then uh, he was married to uh, to his son uh, Colotine. Uh, then uh, the the royal line, of course, go with uh, 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 the old Tarquinius, the Tarquinius Tarquin the priest, uh, whose son Lucius Tarquinius is known as the uh, superb because he used a place for funeral of uh, the uh, Servius Tullius, who was. Uh, 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 who was married uh, to his sister, and of course uh, we know all the story about uh, this subject, which is quite common. But still, we have to remind that uh, uh, in the end, uh, the, the 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 life of uh, uh, Lucrezia who was uh, 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 remarkable for her uh, chastity and uh, uh, stayed in the family uh, uh, was uh, the reason to um, and uh, to expel the family of Tarquin, uh, uh, of Lucius Tarquinius, out of Rome. So, uh, the story was about uh, a rape committed by Sextus Tarquinius, uh, where there is uh, actually a legal discussion whether it would be uh, estimated as uh, uh, adultery, because uh, actually uh, she uh, uh, was uh, together with uh, Sextus Perquinius by her own will, but under uh, the fear, the threat, that he uh, would be um, uh, uh, exposed as an adulteress if she does not accept the indecent offer of uh, the uh, prince. So all, all of that happened during the siege of Adair. Uh, uh, one of the topics of uh, the conquer to conquer of uh, King. Uh, of the king uh, uh, Terquinius to Parabus. And during this siege, there was a kind of um, competition between the noble princes of uh, uh, the family whose wife was uh, 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 has more dignity. And they found out that the beautiful uh, Terquinia, who was with the blonde, uh, with the blonde hair, uh, and uh, uh, surrounded by her servants, working with Wu, uh, in fact, was, uh, uh, was an example for the life of a noble woman who was not uh, celebrating, uh, not uh, uh, using wine, was uh, strictly forbidden, and of course, it was very beautiful. So uh, uh, later on, Sextus come back to her, came back to her, and all this story. Uh, in fact, uh, we have to remember, which is well known fact and well, very well described also by Ettore Pais, for example, in the 1905 uh, uh, in his. Uh, Study about the Roman mythology that uh, uh, he classified this myth as one of, as one of the typical myths uh, of uh, Latin people, uh, with which orig origin is from up there. Actually, there is um, a, a second case, which is uh, during uh, which is famous as well, uh, during the time of the Decemvirate when uh, when uh, Appius Claudius. Um, wanted to have uh, a lady from a plebeian origin, and his name, her name is uh, Virginia, and uh, with the trickery, he managed to uh, to, to tell that uh, 
uh, he should uh, she should uh, be uh, under the power of one of uh, his servants and the right to uh, to be to 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 possess her. Then her father and her father uh, uh, flattered her in front of the uh, statue of Venus Claudina, uh, who was uh, uh, a goddess related again to the city of Arde. A similar version of the myth is well known also uh, from, in, from the very city of Arde. So we see uh, how uh, how the the death, the suicide or killing of uh, the daughter uh, is uh, uh, a way to uh, protect uh, the chastity and to purify and to purify uh, the family and the city from a very serious uh, uh, trespass, uh, namely the adultery. Uh, actually, the version of this myth uh, is uh, the earliest uh, root of this myth is to be uh, found as well in Ardea, and it uh, is uh, about uh, uh, a story of, of gods and the relations of God, uh, which in fact uh, take us back to the the story of uh, Indo-European origin, uh, which is studied uh, well by uh, Georges Dumézil in his essays on Mitra Varuna, uh, where he uh, uh, shows uh, uh, very well the, uh, a typical uh, a typical version of it, uh, uh, where um, uh, the uh, the German, the German uh, branch of, um, uh, the, of, of the myth is about Mythodin and Oleros, which is narrated by Saxo uh, Grammaticus in the story of Danes, uh, where um, in fact uh, the, the wife uh, of Odin, uh, of Frigga, uh, uh, committed a, uh, uh, adultery, an act of adultery with his servant, and this uh, has a tragic effect over the whole community, which could be uh, uh, resolved only by her uh, by her death. Uh, so this is the same the same story. Uh, then, uh, then we see a difference uh, between uh, the Indian and the Latin version of the myth, which is related uh, with uh, compared to the uh, uh, German and Irish uh, and Irish version, uh, just because in the German and in the Irish version we have uh, uh, a couple of. Uh, a couple of gods, which is the real god, and uh, then uh, his uh, substitute, which is uh, uh, a kind of usurpator, usurpator who uh, take the power temporarily, and then after his um, uh, his uh, expelling, and that uh, the thing will be will come to normal. And one of the crimes committed by this um, uh, bad version uh, is uh, a sexual crime against the wife of uh, the, the uh, archetype. The, first, the version which, uh, uh, which is uh, uh, written by Dumézil in, in the, uh, in the uh, uh, Hindu uh, tradition it's about uh, Nahusha, uh, or, or, who asked the god king Indra uh, to replace uh, his wife uh, with his own. Uh, then we have uh, a case of uh, uh, Ashdahak, who possesses the two sisters of uh, King Kim, 
uh, who destroyed uh, uh, who he dethroned, and uh, then uh, uh, we have uh, uh, the version of uh, uh, the same version in the Western tradition. Uh, in the same way, uh, we see the version of uh, Tarquin uh, superb under whose cover we have heard the story of. So, uh, by his origin, this is the story which is uh, typical uh, for uh, the Indo-Germanic people, and in this uh, and in this uh, uh, scope uh, for the Latin uh, Latin tribes, which has the same origin. Uh, then it is interesting why all this story is transferred. To uh, a family of the truth, a clan, a Truscan clan, we can say, and I think it is uh, it is because of uh, uh, of the tradition of uh, Roman tradition, which is cover, uh, which is, should be followed by the Truscan family after uh, the fall of their power. They wanted to uh, to to be uh, accepted as members of the elite. Uh, Latin society, uh, showing that they are uh, in the four corners of their own tradition. And we will see uh, why uh, this is uh, like that. Uh, for, their, uh, for the origin of uh, this myth, uh, it is uh, obvious that uh, uh, the story comes from the Greek authors who wanted to present uh, uh, Italy and especially Rome as a part of uh, their own history uh, and to explain uh, their uh, uh, desire to uh, build colonies and to uh, 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 have a good relations with the Italic people. Uh, we know that uh, for many uh, uh, for many reasons, Rome was regarded as a Greek city. This is uh, also remarkable, remarkable for some influence of the Greek mythology and religion over the Latin, uh, uh, over the, in the Latin pantheon. But, uh, but uh, then uh, uh, comes the, uh, the the origin of the, of the Etruscan tribe which has a totally different context, not related to Indo-European uh, culture initially, but in many cases, they have the opportunity to know very well the Greek culture. And it, with the end of their power, after the conquering of Vey, uh, in the fourth century, uh, they, uh, uh, they were integrated in the Roman aristocratic elite, using uh, uh, this uh, uh, myth to prove uh, to prove uh, uh, how uh, their family has the same uh, noble right of preserving the uh, the state of the family. What is actually uh, to be found? Uh, the myth, uh, according to my uh, modest view. Is related to the uh, to these kinds of myth which are uh, after uh, which comes after the uh, Trojan was conquered and related with the people who had returned from uh, uh, this uh, major mythological and historical event from uh, in the 13th century before the Christ. Uh, so uh, the people who they, this is related uh, to uh, the, uh, the to the idea that most of the uh, masters of uh, the Tyrrhenian master this is the coast Tyrrhenian coast of Italy are uh, uh, have their origin from uh, from Odysseus uh, 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 and. Uh, uh, Ulysse and uh, uh, Kirke. Uh, this uh, this has uh, some elements uh, to, uh, in, in the story of uh, Lucretia as well. 
So now I would like to show you some pictures which I prepared in advance. So there is a notice that uh, you can see the, the the pictures. The first picture. Yes. yes. And the first picture is a, a very well known one. This is Penelope. He's suing his uh, her, uh, her famous blanket and undoing it during the night to um, uh, uh, to delay the decision uh, of his uh, second marriage to somebody else uh, as a successor of Pulisha. This is uh, uh, this is uh, an important event because for our study, because we see uh, we see uh, uh, that she is doing something with O, and then because it is a kind of ordeal for her uh, to to prove her, uh, her modesty and her moral value. Uh, that she is not, uh, she is not, uh, uh, she she is not in pudor without pudor without uh, uh, honor. Uh, uh, the same the same story one can see in uh, about uh, about uh, Lucretia, who is uh, who was found uh, at the beginning during the uh, competition. Uh, to, uh, surrounded by her uh, by her uh, uh, mates and working uh, uh, working with O, so it is uh, actually the same the same idea uh, which we can see. So uh, it depicts uh, a very interesting element uh, taking us back to the time. Of uh, what uh, one can tell um, as matri call as matriarchat, uh, where the line of the family goes with the mother, and, and she is responsible to keep uh, to keep uh, uh, the heritage of the child coming from the father. In fact, we have uh, uh, something like that. Uh, uh, as a kind of ordeal, which was studied very well by Roberto Fiori in his famous work about the ordeals in the Roman law. And there are several, uh, several examples how, the, uh, how the, a woman uh, known for her chastity could save the city. Uh, uh, sometimes it is under the, uh, after, after, a prophecy of uh, Pythia. Uh, the other time, it is uh, 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 a case uh, where uh, symbolically uh, uh, a Vestal lady saves the saves the temple of Vesta uh, uh, with water and so on. All of this. Are, uh, are, are, are cases uh, for ordeal, uh, not only for which are, which is not only for the males who compete, uh, uh, the males of members of the uh, of the group uh, around uh, Sextus uh, Sextus Terquinius, uh, who uh, compete whose wife uh, wife was more uh, was more. Uh, uh, Noble and uh, more honorable, and but also a case of lady. In fact, uh, if uh, uh, the lady uh, uh, is about to lose his uh, position, uh, uh, her position, her chastity, then uh, we have a threat over the whole family, and not only the family but the city and the, the people. So this is uh, actually uh, something what we uh, have to, about which we have to pay attention. Uh, so it is a, a very known uh, mythological uh, mythological element uh, uh, that 
the the to preserve uh, the, the the city, we have to rely on the uh, on the honor of the ladies in the family. Uh, so uh, uh, the we can uh, we can see that in these uh, publications of the own of some own from first century BC found in Volterra. Uh, and it is it was published. Uh, the pictures are published by uh, Small uh, in her. Uh, uh, I think she, she, but I'm not sure whether it is she or him. Uh, but this author Small published uh, this the work in 1976. Uh, these are urns from Volterra depicting exactly uh, scenes which are very uh, uh, close to. Um, uh, to the story of uh, Lucretia. So you see uh, Lucretia, who has committed, who, uh, who has committed already uh, the suicide, uh, the fleeing. Here you can see the fleeing Sextus uh, uh, Terquinius. Uh, here we see Brutus and Coatinus uh, 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 together. So perhaps as well the father. Uh, there we have a small uh, a small uh, uh, figurine of uh, of a boy, and uh, um, I don't think that the explanation of uh, the, this color is uh, uh, quite uh, clear. But uh, to my point of view, the figurine uh, depicts um, uh, uh, the the main idea of. Uh, uh, of why the lady should keep her, her chastity, and this is the the son. The son should uh, should uh, uh, bear the blood of their father in order to have the position of him in the family. So perhaps uh, this shows that uh, um, that uh, this uh, uh, wounds which are of uh, uh, Etruscan. Of Etruscan origin, and you can see the second one who has uh, who, who is very whose scenery is very uh, similar to the previous one, and these ones uh, are uh, made for Etruscan families. And in the Etruscan world, we know that the power of uh, uh, of the father is not so important as in. Uh, in the Latin world and in the Celtic world. We all know the uh, testimony of Gaius, who said that the power of uh, the sons are under the power of uh, their father uh, only for the Latin, uh, for the Romans, and for the Gauls. So, uh, uh, as we, it, it is clear also from the Etruscan art that the place of the lady in the family is almost equal to the male. Uh, then, uh, why, why this, uh, uh, why this uh, picture uh, uh, in the urn is like that? Uh, obviously, this is these are uh, Etruscan urns. And the, the explanation uh, of the small is uh, quite convincing to my uh, point of view because these ladies and this family wants to show that. Uh, they are noble because they preserve the rights of uh, um, of the good people. The good people uh, does not commit uh, adultery, and the, and uh, the ladies uh, are preserving the strictest rule of chastity. So uh, it means that uh, this is uh, this is the the biggest proof that they. Uh, should be uh, uh, regarded uh, as a noble family, uh, something like patricians or optimates, because it is the t in the time uh, the time of uh, this first century BC. Uh, that, uh, in fact, this reality, mythological reality, uh, has an important value for uh, the people of. Uh, uh, Republican period, even even during the late Republic, because it it is has a, a strict normative 
normative value uh, for uh, for the uh, Romans and not only the Romans but Etruscans, uh, uh, Etruscans part of the Roman population. It means that uh, these Etruscans are already uh, almost totally Romanized. So it, it is also an interesting uh, event because uh, interesting fact because it is uh, an archaeological finding and like that it is a very uh, solid proof for uh, for interpretation this uh, this myth. Uh, now we come to uh, now we come uh, to uh, the. Second uh, part of my um, uh, of my uh, discussion, and this is about uh, how uh, how um, uh, uh, how um, uh, I need to come back. You're sharing. I'd like to stop sharing. Okay, stop. Now you you stop uh, you you stop to see my presentation. Yes, okay. yes, we see and just you. Uh, so uh, this is the entering into the text. Uh, we see that uh, uh, there is some elements of the speech of uh, uh, Livius uh, about uh, which are not were not decided almost until the end of the Republic. And this is uh, uh, the problem of methods, that uh, in fact, uh, uh, methods, uh, methods was not uh, uh, accepted as, uh, as an element of, uh, uh, the, of the rape until, uh, uh, until the end of the Republic uh, in, the, in, in, in the famous uh, uh, legislation by uh, 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 brilliant legislation by August uh, because uh, because uh, 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 the requirement was uh, made uh, uh, in the uh, uh, the requirement was uh, to have a physical uh, a physical uh, harassment not only a, a psychological one as we can see in the case of Lucretia. Uh, there is no uh, actually physical attack. Uh, there is only um, a fear of being accused of as an adultery. And uh, by the act of suiciding, she actually uh, wanted to uh, secure not only the uh, not only his uh, her family at the time, but also. Uh, uh, any other wo woman who will be uh, tricked in the same way. So this uh, should be a, a moral example, which was used uh, uh, in in the uh, uh, declamations of uh, the rhetors, uh, as we uh, see from the study of Junior Ritelli, uh, who points out some elements of the text of Livius about using the same uh, the same uh, words in uh, use, which words were used in the argument of uh, uh, the red talks um, uh, an interesting uh, uh, an interesting uh, point in this uh, uh, sense he said uh, uh, for instance that ibi sextus sextum terquinium mala libitu lucretia pervim sturp uh, to, to prande capit. So mala libido, uh, the, the mala libido of uh, Sextus Turquinius was used as a, a similar argumentation, uh, as an example for the scholars uh, uh, how to write uh, speech in such kind of trial, uh, trials of adultery. So to, to find whether it was a rape or it was a real adultery. Uh, the other, the other element of uh, the political culture and legal, legal and political culture of uh, the uh, late, uh, late Republic and beginning of uh, Principate is uh, also uh, 
uh, in the end, uh, in the paragraph 69 of uh, 159 of Bolivius, who said that uh, 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 expelling uh, expelling uh, uh, the family of Lucius Terquinius, the superb, uh, uh, that, that shall not be more, uh, more uh, no more regnum, uh, there will be nobody, not, not, uh, not uh, the family of uh, Terquinius, nor the uh, nor anyone else who will uh, uh, reign uh, uh, over Rome. Uh, uh, nec illus, nec alium, quen quam regnare Rome passurum. Uh, I won't bother you with uh, uh, detailed discussion of the text because it is uh, uh, quite long and we don't have uh, uh, so much time. Uh, for this, but uh, it shows actually uh, some reasons against uh, against the, uh, the against the 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 uh, ruling of uh, kings uh, in, in in Rome because actually uh, they fear usurpation of the power. If uh, if uh, not uh, some limits. Of their power, so uh, this begins with this uh, begins the time of liberty. Actually, uh, Livius never called uh, this uh, uh, period as a republic because, as we know, republic for them is not uh, 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 the way to rule the country and to rule the state, but the state itself is called republic. So uh, we have, of course, brilliant examples of Cicero in his uh, study on. Uh, the Republica, uh, actually, they call this period liberty. So we have uh, a totally uh, economic, I can use the words of uh, Georges Dumézil about uh, depicting the myth in uh, the German, the myth of the same myth in the German, Germanic version. But what what uh, is the idea of Dumézil uh, uh, about uh, uh, the, uh, the word economic. It means that there is a good ruler and a bad ruler, and the bad ruler took the power temporarily from the good ruler, and then the good ruler should uh, have to be restored in the power. So this is the economical version. So it means that uh, we should, uh, uh, we should uh, replace the bad ruler with a good ruler. And we, if we uh, compare this, uh, uh, which is unlikely to be uh, uh, the, the example of, uh, uh, of Latin and, uh, and in Hindi, in Hindu uh, version of the myth, because uh, in fact there is, uh, there, there is only one ru ruler who was not very good and has committed this terrible crime of sexual harassment. So, uh, so uh, his conclusion, uh, the conclusion of Georges Dumézil in Mitra Varuna, is uh, essays of his uh, uh, says that uh, the, uh, only only the version, the Germanic version, which is to be found in Danes' uh, example and in Irish examples of his uh, of his study, has this economic uh, idea of good and bad rural. Ruler, uh, uh, unlike in the version of uh, Hindu and Latin uh, origin, uh, where there is only one ruler, so there is no uh, ec such an economic attitude as uh, he had described this for the German version of the myth. So, uh, what is the attitude of Livius, which is more important for us? The attitude of, uh, of Livius is also economic because he uh, insists that this life uh, there will be no more uh, no more usurpation uh, and uh, uh, because of, uh, and, be, and because of this uh, Lucretia should uh, be regarded as uh, a kind of savior and of Rome because uh, she has preserved her family uh, from uh, shame and this like she had cleaned 
the whole Roman state. It is a kind of uh, benediction for the new kind of liberal uh, state of liberty, uh, which uh, is to come uh, from the town from the time uh, on uh, of uh, 509 uh, before Christ. So without any kind of presentation, and uh, but in fact this is uh, 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 this is only his opinion. Uh, this is not uh, a historical uh, historical event as we have seen, but also uh, it is it could not be uh, we, we could not be estimated as a such a new be- a real drastic new beginning as he was uh, presented because. Actually, the, the 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 real structure of the republic we can see only with the legislation of Licinius and Sextius in, in 367, where we have uh, uh, already uh, 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 confronted with uh, uh, with the developed uh, collegial uh, collegial system of two consuls. Uh, who can uh, intervene, uh, uh, but before that, uh, a structure of uh, Praetor Maximus and Praetor Minor. These are two magistrates, but one still has more power than the other, uh, the one called Maximus. Uh, So, uh, in fact, this is an ideal construction about the history of Rome. Uh, which is uh, which is uh, evident from two points. The first is uh, the idea that uh, Rome is as old and as important as uh, the Greek state, because at the time, at that time, uh, 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 even some years later, with the time of Augustus, we see the his policy to reconstruct. The origin and the Latin, the, the Latin uh, uh, importance uh, as, uh, as something as old as the Greek mythology. It's, it, uh, it is enough only to quote uh, Virgilius and Eneida when it is said that uh, the, the Romans uh, should uh, remember that they will govern uh, the, the, the empire because of their virtue. So. Uh, this is uh, uh, something, uh, uh, some ideology from the later time. And the second, and the second uh, element is the proud that uh, we have uh, from the t- at the time of uh, Livius that uh, uh, our system is so well established that we can balance all the interests. In fact, this is also a common element in the historians of this time. Uh, we can see uh, many examples about that of the three elements in the Roman constitution, uh, which is well known and perhaps the best uh, uh, at that time after the, the constitution of Sparta, because both constitution can pre, uh, can allow allow to, to their people to uh, install a hegemony over the other uh, city because uh, uh, because of the virtue moral virtue. So we see the clear idea about of Livius about the history. History is an important event. You should, uh, one should uh, follow strictly what happened uh, and what was recorded, but this is not enough. We must find, uh, according to Livius, an important moral in the history. So the cause of the history is, is moral. Uh, the moral element of the history is the reason why uh, uh, Romans are so victorious, because even their ladies are really uh, brave and then can uh, 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 contravene uh, the most, uh, uh, the better, the best way again, uh, the, uh, against the physical or psychological power. So, virtus. Uh, Roman, uh, the virtus of uh, uh, of men is the the same like pudor for women, and pudor is uh, one of the elements of constructing the uh, noble, but not only noble, but as well 
the plebeian society. We have two important temples, Pudicitia Patricia and uh, Pudicitia of the Ple plebeian Pudicitia, who, uh, who was uh, also where they celebrate also the goddess uh, Fortuna, who is one of the preferred goddess of the people with humble origin. Uh, it is uh, not uh, by chance that uh, uh, it is one of the goddesses who favored uh, Servius, uh, uh, Servius Tullius, the, the rex uh, of uh, humble origin in the line of the Roman king. Uh, so, uh, because uh, they helped the people who had internal power, who is not coming from uh, from their origin, but from their own virtue. Uh, so uh, this is also in line with uh, uh, the, uh, the philosophy. It is already a kind of scientific mind who replaced the traditional, started to replace the traditional mythology. Uh, this is the influence of Pythagoreanism because uh, 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 it is, was influential at the time of uh, the beginning of the Republic. So uh, this is how they can build a real, uh, uh, a real elite of the society uh, who, who uh, rule because of their own uh, virtue, because they are good, and not because they are uh, from a certain origin. Of course, of course, this is uh, uh, a myth, but this myth is very remarkable for um, showing how uh, how the people from uh, uh, regard their history from ideological point of view. Uh, but in the same time, it has some important elements of the legal reasoning, as we have seen. Uh, in consulting of uh, the idea of metals, which was important for many other reasons, not only because, uh, because of the uh, distinction between rape and adultery. So, um, so we can come back again to, uh, to the pictures which I have prepared. Uh, to see the second, uh, to see the second slide. This this is uh, Lucrezia in from the uh, from the point of view from the angle of Lucas Cana, uh, Lucrezia and Justice. So you see a very interesting comparison. Both pictured by Lucas Cana. These are here I'd like to 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 show you a, a very interesting book, uh, of course uh, very well known, Marita Rasfjögen, Römische uh, Rechtsgeschichten über Ursprung und Evolution eines sozialen Systems. It is uh, already for some years, of course, and there she uh, makes a special attention to the, the artist image of Lucrezia. So what we have on the right is Lucrezia, but uh, I, uh, as Venus, uh, and uh, symbol of uh, beauty and chastity. We should remember that in the version of Virginia, Virginia was killed uh, in front of a very important goddess, and it was Venera Cloacina. And then, uh, on the other hand, is Lucretia as justice. So, uh, uh, this uh, element of her image as a uh, 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 symbol of fearless lady who can confront, who can confront uh, uh, any, uh, any uh, male who wants to uh, 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 to vulnerate her, so even without uh, the, without fear to lose her own life, life, but to uh, but to uh, 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 secure her uh, pudor. Uh, I uh, we can we can discuss uh, for a long time uh, 
about the version of this meat given by Saint Augustinus, by Machiavelli, uh, to, to read uh, novels and to, to watch even some films. But uh, uh, the case is quite complicated because we have uh, several layers in a myth uh, whose uh, antiquity is undoubted. Now, I think I can say you thank you very much. I hope it was not so <laughs> difficult to follow me and it was not so boring. Thank you. Thank you very much, Professor Tanev. I didn't know about the others, but I found it very interesting and I'm hoping other people will as well and that we'll have an interesting discussion now as well. So I'm opening the floor to questions. If you have any questions, feel free to raise your real or virtual hand. Feel free to turn on your microphone and speak to us. Or if you can't for whatever reason, feel free to type it in the chat. If anyone needs help with translation, of course, I'm available. So any questions, comments? Well, while people are thinking, I might use the opportunity to ask one myself. Uh, you've mentioned in this context the fact that Metus wasn't a part of the re regulative on rape in that period. Uh, do you think, are you implying that the story of Lucretia, famous as it must have been throughout Rome, had something to do with the legal reform that finally uh, introduced fear as an element, potential element of rape? Or are you simply saying that it was a different time and only after some time did they decide to include this as well? Well, it is uh, most about uh, how they teach uh, uh, rhetoric. So, uh, in the declamations, sometimes they use the word of uh, uh, Livius as, as an example argument for uh, separating uh, 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 adultery from a rape. So, because in fact, in, 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 the, in the court discussion, you will, one has to see whether it is rape or it is adultery. And uh, uh, because actually he agreed to be with uh, Sextus, uh, Sextus uh, Tequinius, uh, and voluntary. But then, uh, but then uh, she should uh, uh, she killed herself uh, to clean any uh, any uh, sign of doubt uh, that uh, she had committed uh, uh, and she had. Uh, 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 treat and put a treat over uh, her family and over uh, Roman people. Uh, uh, when and how uh, we cannot use the myth, this myth as an, as an uh, argument in the historical way to say when uh, this happened and when the argumentation comes. But, but it has a certain legal value uh, because it depicts cases uh, of, uh, uh, of matters. This is what I'm telling. I cannot tell that because of Lucretia case, we have changed the law because uh, this situation was known for ages. But, but when it is, was uh, created, uh, we cannot exactly say. Uh, actually, uh, the Petra Priest thinks it is about the fourth century, but uh, whether it is so, we cannot say uh, uh, with sureness, because uh, 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 as we have uh, seen, uh, the traces are so ancient, and we don't know exactly how or what was the first context of uh, imply in uh, in Rome of this uh, of this story. For the first time, we have similar story in uh, uh, in uh, Ardea. Then, uh, then uh, it is transferred to Rome. 
which is not unlikely because uh, in many times uh, Roman uh, Roman uh, uh, law was using examples from uh, another uh, another people. Actually, this was a normal argument. We will use this because this was already a uh, 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 practice in uh, another town. This is uh, something typical for the uh, Roman argumentation. Yes, I understand. Thank you. Not at all. Are there any more questions? Uh, excuse me? Yes, go ahead. <laughs> Yes, uh, thank you for your intervention, uh, Professor Tanev. I want to ask you about the use of the myth of Lucretia in uh, the, the beginning of Ampa area. I, I don't know if you if you can uh, tell me uh, about the, the use of the myth, Republican myth of Lucretia. It uh, it use in imper imperial uh, phases or or not? Have you? Uh, uh, information sources about this question, or it's not uh, your focus. It's not uh, um, for your focus. It's not interesting for your focus. I don't know. Ask. Uh, uh, well, there there are examples uh, from uh, from that time. We have uh, we have uh, just I have noticed about that. Uh, we have uh, we have uh, variation of that in Ovid. We have in Dion Cassius, we have in the late antiquity already in St. Augustine, they describe the same version of the myth. Uh, so I think it was uh, really very popular. And uh, uh, all of them, they give uh, another different, uh, uh, different accent on it. Uh, uh, some fellow mostly uh, the structure of, of uh, Livius, and, uh, and we saw we have also version of uh, Dionysius of Halicarnassus before that, and later many, in many other cases uh, you can see in Machiavelli, in Shakespeare, Rousseau, and even Freud. Interesting. So uh, it was an example which was uh, used to in variety of times. Even even in uh, in Byzantine literature, uh, I read uh, there is mentioning in in the commentaries of Zonara. So uh, you see actually uh, how popular was. Uh, but but uh, professor, the question of the ideology, a Republican ideology with his myth, is the same tr uh, travel, is the same uh, uh, journey like uh, uh, Lucretia myth or not, is, or disconnecting? I, I think I can, I, I, I found uh, two, uh, two layers of ideology uh, during, uh, uh, and the one is during the Republican time or the late Republic and the other is uh, uh, the version which is given by uh, Livy. Uh, uh, the, the, the original version, according to my uh, point of view, is that uh, Lucretia is uh, the model for uh, living in a family. So it is a, a, a sign uh, that uh, this family is of noble origin. Okay. Uh, uh, and for the time of uh, Livius and the story and later story, it is uh, it has more economical, uh, more economical connotation um, as it was uh, uh, as the version of this uh, 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 of this myth was described by Dumézil. So it means that the good ruler must replace the bad ruler, and we must not allow any more for usurpation. Uh, this is uh, this is not according to uh, me now uh, the original idea of the myth, and this is clear from the pictures we have seen from the urns of Volterra, because these are pictures which uh, belongs to the family, uh, Etruscan family, who want to be regarded as part of uh, uh, Roman nobility, as a sign uh, 
for this is the example of uh, uh, politicia uh, depicted by the case of uh, of Lucretia. This is why they have in their urn picture of Lucretia, mm -hmm. not of any other uh, of any other uh, uh, story. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Welcome. Thank you very much. We have a question from George Gojkovic. George, go ahead. First off, thank you, Professor. Uh, I wanted to, to ask one thing. Once I stumbled in literature um, on the some kind of reinterpretation of some uh, of one Roman myth or uh, of one exact situation, I'm talking about uh, Gaius Martius uh, Coriolanus in a uh, Christian way. So I'm wondering if you come upon some uh, reinterpretation of the myth of Lucretia after the Christianization of uh, the Roman Empire. It, we have a beautiful example about that, and this is uh, the version of the myth uh, told by uh, Augustinus, Saint Augustinus, where uh, the accent is uh, namely on the point whether it was an adultery, whether she had committed adultery already, or uh, she has presided herself uh, as uh, 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 innocent, because actually she had not committed the crime. Uh, and this was uh, this was related uh, exactly with the case of Mythos, whether she has a kind of libido against uh, uh, against uh, Sextus Terquinius, and thus how she has committed uh, committed to go to me. This is uh, the version of uh, uh, of, of, of uh, Saint Augustine. Uh, but of course, of course, uh, being excused and uh, the like. Uh, uh, it is still uh, interesting to, to, to see uh, further development. So any society put an idea of uh, it now in the uh, uh, feminist literature. So, uh, but this is not a question of historical argumentation anymore. As, as it is in the case of St. Augustine, because St. Augustine is very interesting to be uh, discussed uh, for, her, for his uh, discussion for many times with the uh, Republican examples. For instance, his idea of the state is, total, is not totally, but is different uh, from the one of uh, Cicero, for instance. Uh, well, it is... Uh, not only because of Christianity, but also but perhaps because of his uh, own peculiarities as well. Thanks a lot, Professor. Just a small remark. Uh, um, absolutely not the period that we're talking about, but with the Christian interpretation, uh, Britain has an opera about the rape of Lucretia, and there in the opera, in the end, there is a chorus singing that all pain, including curse, is redeemed through the suffering of Christ, and so on. And that's, for me, it was always a very bizarre moment in an ancient Roman tale, uh, ending in a Christian way like that, uh, on a tale that was from pagan times. But... As you can see, e even in the 20th century, such interpretations are, are possible. We, we, we have I've as seen, well... Sorry. I've seen the opera in December, I think. Right, Professor Nina? It was in Belgrade. Uh, I think it was Russian opera, right? Uh, last last year. Yes, I think so too, yes. Very I missed that. But I know uh, an opera, Bulgarian opera, uh, who is written about uh, a famous uh, uh, battle uh, between uh, uh, between uh, Bulgarian uh, uh, army and the Crusaders, where the Baldwin, the king uh, of uh, uh, the, the, the Crusader king of Constantinople, was taken uh, in prison. 
and uh, uh, there he uh, uh, actually was uh, killed because of uh, adultery committed uh, 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 with the wife of the king. Again, these meet, you see the same structure, uh, and uh, uh, but there, the lady was uh, the lady was uh, guilty because she uh, seduced him, and uh, uh, this is the, the 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 picture. In fact, this is a very very intriguing matter in the art because everyone wants to read about such things. In the end of the day. True enough, it makes for an exciting plot. If there are no more questions, I would like to thank Professor Danev once again, or the Professor, Professor Poloids did no. Well, then thank you for giving us this wonderful lecture and many subjects to think about. Very sorry that we are only online now, and I hope that the pandemic is going away and that we will be able to meet in Belgrade in person soon as well. I miss you, all of you. <laughs> now, thank you so much for the good news. Thank you. I just wanted to say goodbye and I hope to see you uh, soon <laughs> somewhere. And, uh, it was really interesting and thank you very much for this beautiful um, pictures of Krana, uh, of Lucretia, um, so, and all for your good lecture. Thank you, Milena. It was really a wonder to see you again. And, uh, but you should thank to Marita Rex-Hergen. <laughs> she has uh, uh, also, uh, also uh, many others. Uh, many other pictures, like many other pictures, for instance, like uh, Sandro Botticelli. There is a Sandro Botticelli, a famous Sandro Botticelli case of Lucrezia. So, very, very interesting subject. Actually, I came to this problem uh, thanks, uh, thanks to her book. Uh, excuse me, I want just to just add something uh, about your intervention. Thanks. Uh, a lot, uh, Professor. Uh, a book of uh, Claude Lefort about Machiavel. Uh, it's interesting to to um, compare with your your work about Lucre the myth of Lucretia. Uh, if you want, I send the reference in the in the message. It's I will be very uh, thankful because I have to write an article about that. So uh, I don't know the book. So please uh, help me with that. Yes, with pleasure. I, I, I write in this message. Thank you. Thank you a lot. You're welcome. Thank you. So thank you, Costa, and bye-bye. Hope to see you soon. Thank you, Andrea. It was so nice to see you. And next week we also have a question on a Roman uh, question, sorry, a lecture on a Roman subject. So we have Professor Tommaso Beggio from Trento, who is going to be talking about capital punishment in ancient Rome. So same time, same link next Friday at seven. You're all welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Goodbye. 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 Goodbye.